Hello everyone, this is a lanyard knot or a diamond knot. I found a link on YouTube on how to make it, but uh, I thought I would just do my interpretation of it. Hopefully it'll help you. So we're going to start from scratch here. Here's a piece of paracord. Now the first thing we're going to do is make a loop. This loop is going to be our finished product up here. You know, that'll be our loop. Now we got a short end on the right, and our long end is on the left. First thing you do is uh, pick up the long end, put the paracord between your thumb and index finger, and twist to the right. And you see how that loop is uh, formed? Do that again. Twist to the right, and the loop is formed. Now, you notice on the loop, the top part of the cord goes over the long end of the cord, okay? If it's not looking like that, you flipped it the wrong way. Now, I'm going to continue my circle, my, making my circle. We don't want to lose our circle. Take the short end and bisect our loop. So, that's what we have right now. We just bisected the loop, okay? And we have a loop up here. Next thing you do is take your short end and go under the long end. Okay, and now I'm going to go through this first loop. Going under and over. So under the first loop and over so that I have a pretzel look. You should have a pretzel look like that. If you don't, you did something wrong. So all we did was go under the long end and into the first loop and out the second loop. So it was under and up and out. Now, I'm going to extend this because I need a little more length. To extend it, I just uh, shorten my loop. I, I pull this and then just pull out the slack with that. That's all I did was extend it a little bit. Now, here's the critical part where most people get messed up, and I do. Before I continue, though, you see this diamond? We call that a diamond. The one, that, that, that hole in the middle, it looks like a diamond. Remember that, okay? Remember that diamond. So now, I'm just going to go over and through the diamond with that short end. So now I'm coming out the diamond, right, with the short end. Okay, we're almost done. This is what it should look like at this point. Now I'm going to take the long end, and I'm going through the loop here, the big loop, and out the diamond. Take out the slack. And this is it. Here's the critical part, too. We have this shape formed right here. If we yank real hard, all of a sudden, it's, it might look funny. So what you got to do is hold these two ends here by the loop end. And then pull on that. And then just, you know, kind of round it out with your thumb and index fingers. And then take a little more slack out. Because if you do it all at once, you might have a problem. you got to do it easy like this. And that's it. You see how nice and uniform everything looks? It should look like that. No crazy turns or anything. It should be nice and uniform. And then I can even make it tighter. And there you have your finished diamond or lanyard knot with a nice loop. And this loop is permanent. It's not adjustable. There are one. There are ways to make an adjustable one, but this is not the video for that. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.